Food-related allergies in infants and children are at an all-time high, so Dr. Jonathan Malka, Director of Allergy and Immunology at Pediatric Associates, is here with some important warnings. Doctor, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. So we're talking specifically about cow's milk allergy and what some of the indications for that may be. So what can a parent uh, do to tell if their child is allergic to cow's milk? So that's a great question. So let's focus on what is a cow's milk allergy and then we can go into the symptoms. So cow's milk allergy is an immune reaction to a protein which is casein and it's one of the five most common food allergies that we have. A food reaction to cow's milk or any other food usually presents the first or second time you ingest the food and within minutes of the exposure you will present with symptoms such as hives, difficulty breathing, shortness of breath, lip swelling or the feared anaphylactic reaction. You may also present with more delayed kind of GI symptoms, such as vomiting, bloody stools, mucus in the stools, or failure to thrive. And what does every parent have to know about food allergies in infants? Do they grow out of them like some people might think? Do they, you know, sort of stay with them for the rest of their life? What's, what should they know? So that's a great question. So we have something called the allergic march. We have to start by understanding that there is a higher incidence of food allergies, which has doubled in the last decade. So food allergies start very early in life. We have other allergic conditions which may predispose to food allergies, such as eczema, parents with a history of food allergies or environmental allergies. And understand that as you have an allergic disorder early in life, you're potentially going to develop other allergic conditions later. For example, four out of 10 children with food allergies may have asthma at five years of age. Uh, two of every third child with food allergies may have, with milk allergy, may have egg and peanut allergy, and one third of them will have eczema. So understanding that food allergies may be outgrown, for example, cow's milk allergy is outgrown in 50% of children, peanuts only are grown in 20% of children. But as you develop other environmental allergies later in life, you're likely not going to outgrow those. And this whole process is known as the allergic march. Got it. And parents and doctors can actually manage cow's milk allergy, for example, and it can help prevent other types of allergies too, right? Correct. So important is that parents are, have to be aware of what the symptoms are, like we discussed. They have to know that they have risk factors, and if they have the symptoms, in addition to speaking to the pediatrician, they can find the right formula. For example, 80% of children who have a cow's milk allergy will tolerate extensively hydrolyzed formula and if you add probiotics to it, such as lactobacillus you have an option to provide to your child who's allergic to milk, but also have a uh, likelihood of halting or altering the allergic diseases later in life. So by educating yourself, speaking to your pediatrician, and choosing the right formula, in this case for cow's milk allergy, the extensively hydrolyzed formula with probiotics, you will not only treat, but also hopefully alter progression of disease. Right, right. And so if people want to learn more information, get more resources, etc., where can they go? So a great website will be takeallergicaction.com. That is takeallergicaction.com. It will give you, uh, give you great resources and, as always, discuss with your primary care provider as well. Great. Dr. Jonathan Malka, thanks so much for the info. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. We'll be right back.